Hi, welcome to this tutorial from tdcat.com. I'm still using the Canon XF100 camera. It's a good few years old now, but uh, I don't currently have any particular reason to replace it or any need to replace it. I, there's lots of cameras out there that I'd love to get, I'd love to move to 4K, something like that, but it's, it's still kind of early days with that, in my opinion. So I'm kind of look shooting on a camera that does 1080p at 25 frames a second, but it also does 720p at 50 frames a second. And I always tend to shoot at 720p and I kind of think, well, am I missing something? Am I losing something by shooting at 720p? Could I get more detail at 1080p? And I thought, well, I might as well just do a test to look at that and sort of see. So it's a really crude test because what I've basically filmed here is, a, is, a, is some wood in the fireplace, which has a lot of detail on it, a lot of texture on it. But realistically, who just sits and films wood, you know, um, it's just so it's not realistic in that way, but it sort of does prove a point to a certain extent. So what, what I've done here is I created a um, timeline, a sequence, which is a 1080p sequence. Uh, so we've got the, C, the, the full 1080p there at 25 frames a second. And I've got a bunch of clips here. Uh, this is the shots. These are the shots I'm talking about where I've got one that was filmed on the camera at 1080p at 25 frames and one filmed at 720. So I'm going to bring both of those clips in. And of course you'll notice that the 721 doesn't fit. It's a bit too small and that one fits the frame, the frame fully. So I'm going to scale the 720 clip up to uh, up 150 and this is just scaling in in Premiere there's no sort of plug-in to do that or anything like that we're not going to use kind of um, instant HD or instant 4k or anything like that uh, which could do the scaling with just uh, just adjusting it in Premiere to 150 percent which is the exact number you need to go up from 720 to 1080 and now we're going to just look at the detail. These are the shots raw out of the camera. We're not going to apply any kind of uh, color correction to them or any kind of sharpening at this point, at least. We're going to take a look at them. So put them to 100%. And let's have a look at some of the detail on here. We've got some really nice detail. I mean, the camera is great. It's a 422 color, which uh, so it really resolves colors very nicely. And um, and the Kodak um, MPEG-2 uh, long got 50. Um, 50 megabits. Uh, so while admittedly MPEG-2 is not as efficient as MP4, so you don't get as much for your megabit, it's still uh, very few compression artifacts, e even on moving footage. So uh, it's great in that sense. But if you take a look at the detail here, that's the 720p clip. If we move across to the 1080p clip, you see, okay, what difference is there? switching between the two there well you start to say okay yes there are a f maybe there's a little difference between them so let's zoom in a bit more and of course it'll get pixelated at this stage but if we just pick this section of, of wood here see now you start to see a small difference there you've got the 720p clip there and there's the 1080p clip so if you just look around here, the D, so if you just check the detail on this particular portion, I'll just kind of um, just highlight this area. And if I flip between those two bits, you can see that there is a slight softening of the details. There's a slight, slight basic sort of missing, the details are missing somewhat. And if I zoom in even more to 400%, as I say, this is a crude test. And, Sort of don't don't start saying well there's no good no not a good way to test and things like that you need to use actual footage out and about and, and you're absolutely right you do um, in which case you probably wouldn't notice these issues at all anyway but um, hey we're just being a bit techy here okay being a bit geeky and having a look at it so there we go we're zoomed into 400% now I switch between the two got a little bit more detail in the 1080p clip but then you sort of think well. That's fair enough. This this clip's been rescaled. Any rescaling process inherently softens a clip. It's very normal when rescaling any kind of image, even a even a photographic still, to apply some type of sharpening during a rescale process, so during an out, so output sharpening, as it's called. And uh, if we do that on this 720p clip, and we're only talking about a very small amount of sharpness, so if we just apply the 
um, sharpen on there. If we turn it off for now and we just apply it at five, let's say a level of, we'll put five in, a bit OCD, but we'll put five in there. And turn that on. Now, if we compare the two, well, really, can you see any difference? Maybe a touch, so if we just knock it up a touch more. Seven. We're now starting to get to a point where maybe we've actually got more detail in the 720 clip. So it's not, the, the sensor is not resolving, from what I can see on this clip, is not actually resolving any more information. It's not getting any more detail out at the 1080p setting than it is at the 720 setting. It's just obviously how it's put and stored on, on the camera. So I guess in summary, the point is that you, you might as well shoot in 720p and get 50 frames a second of footage rather than, which you can then of course slow down uh, to 25 frames a second and um, looks great in slow motion, um, rather than shoot at 1080 and be limited to 25 when, when the actual quality that you end up with is pretty much identical. I mean, who realistically looks at footage at 400%? You know, you'd only ever look at it at its 100%, which if you flip between these two now, there is no difference in quality between the two. Um, as I say, this one's been sharpened because it's been resized, but uh, that is seems like a fair thing to do. So, yeah, of course, 1080p, you can go down to uh, 25, uh, 1 25th of a second shutter speed, which does gain you some low light performance, but it'd be pretty unlikely you'd want to shoot at that speed because of the fact that uh, that shutter speed, because of the fact that you get so much motion blur. So just a quick crude comparison between 720p footage scaled up to 1080p and original 1080p footage.